There are some women that are great no matter what the occasion is. Perhaps the woman you most definitely admire is like that. She always looks put together at all times and different from those around her. The truth is you can be beautiful, wear the best designer dress ever made, and still look like a farm girl if you don't carry yourself with class. Here are five things that separate Sigma females from other women. Before we continue, please take a moment to like and subscribe to the only channel dedicated to Sigma females. 1. Sigma females don't borrow. The one thing all Sigma females have in common is that they don't like borrowing, especially from friends and relatives. In fact, they don't like the idea of asking for help from people. If they can't afford what they want, they make plans, save up and get it later or they push to the future when they are financially stable, or they look for the cheap next alternative. Borrowing is the last resort when they have exhausted all the available options. If they do borrow something like a book, they make sure to handle the book with care and make sure to return it on the exact day and time. Overall, Sigma females don't like to bother people with their problems. Two, they don't obsess over free things. Sigma females by nature are minimalist, they are self-sufficient and contented with the little they have. Material things don't move them, and so too are free things. In fact, Sigma females are very skeptical when it comes to receiving free things from people because they know that nothing is truly free. There is always an invincible price tag attached to it. Sigma females don't sell themselves cheap and never stoop too low for whatever reasons. Anything that will harm their integrity, they are never part of it. 3. They don't need to prove themselves to anyone. Low-class women are always trying to be heard. They want to show everyone that they know a thing or two. They are usually the ones who dish out unsolicited advice. Tell people how to run their lives and what is good and bad for others. And when you counter their words or advice, they lose their cool and become very aggressive. They will insult and try to bully you to consider what they say. They always speak at the top of their voices and always want to have the final say. Sigma females don't need to prove themselves to anyone. If they talk and you don't listen, that is your cup of tea. Besides, not every piece of advice is good advice and not everything that someone tells you is final. You have the right to subject that thought to your own reasoning and be the one to make the final decision. Four. They don't drink and misbehave. Sigma females drink and eat responsibly, not because the drinks are free or sold cheap, but because they don't want to soil their integrity. They don't drink what they can't handle, nor do they hide behind alcohol to act out their heart's desire or show the world their true colors, how desperate they can be, and the thinks they are willing to subject themselves under the false pretext of drunkenness. When you are drunk, you are at liberty to do and say all kinds of crazy things. And once you say does things and people hear them, you can never take them back and they might define you for the rest of your life. People might always see you in that perspective or presume things about you that are false because you let them in the first place. It might take you years to change people's minds or live a lifetime trying to rewrite the wrongs of one simple stupid mistake. Five. It does not bother them when people copy their style. It is the dream of the Sigma woman to be able to influence a large group of people. When people copy their lifestyle or imitate them, they don't have issues with it. The only time it bothers them is when that person is an imposter or trying to impersonate them. That is when they might get infuriated. Other than that, Sigma females like to set the pace. They like to be the example everyone is talking of and will never see in person.